Cheapskate Tim teaches us the dangers of point shoot and upload. I hope everybody's having a great weekend, despite the fact that most of us saw Tim naked. <clears throat> oh, yeah, a little upset stomach there. Yes, that's right for you that did not hear. Yes, uh, Tim was uh, doing his little filming thing, and uh, he was panning around with his camera, his little phone in hand, and yes, caught himself in the buff and went ahead and uploaded it because... That's the dangers of point, shoot, and upload. When you don't watch your footage, when you don't see what you captured, you just never know, especially when you're a little degenerate running around naked and filming. Yes, the video has been taken down, but, you know, the way YouTube is, there are several channels that uh, have the video up, and I'm sure you can find them. And their little parodies using the clip. Atomic Sage is one, and uh, Lollive Oil. And I'm sure there's other ones, but they're the two that I saw right off the bat. And uh, yes, as amusing as it is, uh, the first thing that came to my mind is why, why is, why is he naked and filming? I mean, it's one thing if you are uh, sleeping nude and you get up and you go to the bathroom and you walk across and you, you know, you go and you're nude and then you go back to bed. Or if you get out of the shower and you stroll around and you, you get your clothes and then you slip on a pair of, I don't know, gym shorts or something. If you're not going to go walking around, you know, outside or anything, but you still throw in some shorts and then you go about your business. So why is this old ass, wrinkly old man running around naked? Which is one thing you're in your home. Okay, whatever. But why are you picking up your phone? Are you doing the vain thing? Are you taking selfies of yourself nude because you are vain? Oh, no, no, no. You shouldn't do that there, preacher Tim. Are you sending dick pics to your mail order bride so she can see it until she actually gets delivered? Is that what you're doing? Okay, then let's just forget about why he's naked and why he has his phone in his hand. Let's move on to why are you going to film a YouTube video while you're naked? And why are you doing it in front of windows? Yes, windows. The video is, hey, look over there. Uh, there that's, uh, that's over there now, but a little while ago. And he's standing in front of the window, and he's filming out the window and showing us what's out there. And then he walks across and pans and goes to another window. Oh, I've got a neighbor over there. Da, 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 da. And he's standing in front of the window filming out. Now, here's the next thing I want you to sadly imagine. Imagine a grown man standing in front of one of those windows. Where is the window in? Yeah, you. So it's really, really weird to me. Why? What are you doing? And then to just pan around and get a glimpse of yourself in reflection. And again, point, shoot, upload. You don't edit. You don't do anything. You don't look at your stuff. You just get it out there. So you missed it. Or did he? Did he? Maybe this is a ploy. Maybe he figured if the young girls can do it, if they can show their TNA and get clicks, maybe if I show my twig and berries and show how fit I am because, <laughs> yes, I know I'm a preacher man and I speak the word of God and you shouldn't be vain, but I am very vain. See how lovely I am. Maybe, maybe he, that was the ploy. Maybe all this attention maybe because some of us just faded away from tim and we're not giving him all the attention that he's used to maybe he needs all those hate views again maybe he needs the interest maybe he figured i'd spark some interest so could it be that he actually did it on purpose i don't know but either way this deviant this degenerate flasher i don't know it's it's not a good look, especially for someone who preaches all this stuff about 
haters and the darkness and evil and getting blessings. I don't know, Tim. Do you think you're going to continue to get all your blessings if you're some kind of deviant, flashing out your window, walking around, being vain, staring at yourself nude in the mirror? Is this what all righteous, God-fearing, religious people are like? Is this how preachers act, Tim? I don't know. I would be kind of ashamed. And I'm sure he's not going to address it. He's just, the video's down and he's just going to go about his business like it never even happened. He won't even address the fact that he put his naked ass on YouTube for everybody to see. So, yeah. What? I don't know. It's, it's not a good look for a preacher man, Timbo. So, you need to stroll your role with you judging other people and saying about their <laughs> their lawnmower payments and all. <laughs> Keep your fucking pants on there, Timmy. Now let's talk about cheap ass Tim. That's right, this cheap bastard. Now he is gonna be crying about spending nine dollars. That's right, not ninety, not nine hundred, nine dollars. But it's not five dollars anymore. It's now nine dollars, almost double. So with the tax, nine dollars. And so that's right. Timmy got a free trip to go golfing. That's right. He doesn't have to rent clubs or anything. The guy said, "Yeah, there's there's no there's no gloves in the in the golf bag, so you might have to." So Tim went out and had to spend nine dollars to go golfing again free trip doesn't have to rent clubs doesn't it saved all that money but nine dollars for the man whose big saying is because one thing i got plenty of money uh he's saving me big time on renting clubs and stuff where's my junk at somewhere around here uh but one bad thing i wanted to report on and that's the inflation I haven't bought a, a See, there you go. He saved me because I don't have to go rent clubs or anything or do anything. All I got to do is spend nine whole dollars to get some damn gloves. What a cheap prick. And by the way, put your pants on, Tim. Now, little self-absorbed Tim in another big act of vanity. That's a no-no, Tim. That's a no-no. He talks about... Uh, downgrading the quality of his videos because when i do this 1080p high def stuff oh no it takes way 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 too long so i lowered it down to 720 because you know i gotta get these things out man i gotta get these videos out people are waiting and uh that's not it's not getting it so that's right people were waiting for the all pressure i mean i know that's what i do I, I don't do anything all day. I sit right here. I'm poised. I know Tim's got another one coming out. He's only done two this hour. I know there's at least one more this hour. I'm gonna I'm getting kind of hungry, but no, I don't want to leave. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Bladder's filling up. I've been drinking a lot of water sitting here waiting for Tim. Uh, I should go to the bathroom, but no, no, no. Hang on, kidneys. Hang on. I'm just sitting here waiting. Got to get him out. <laughs> Tim's got to get him out because vain Tim thinks the world revolves around him. And if he goes five minutes without putting out a video, people, I mean, they're going to have to up their depression meds. It's going to be horrible. What can we do without Tim running around filming naked? Put your pants on Tim. Good Lord, son. Good Lord. Well, then as he's yabbering on about the damn you know, video upload speed. Now he's going to tout and brag <laughs> about his 5G. Yeah, well, here, let Timmy tell you all about it. And it uploads fast on that 5G T-Mobile. Now, that's right. <laughs> 
Now he's pushing the 5G T-Mobile that he just said is garbage and he had to lower the quality so he can actually upload his videos. But now on that 5G T-Mobile, <laughs> ever the salesman, Tim, ever the fucking salesman, you just got done saying how shitty it was that you can't upload your videos in time and people were on the edge of their seats just waiting because people were waiting. And you can't get it out fast enough because your 5G T-Mobile is so shitty, but now you're it's lightning fast. Well, yeah, if you fucking. <laughs> oh, this guy, this dude. Oh, my Lord. He just trips me out. <laughs> Put your pants on, Tim. Now, good old Timmy. He's telling us all about the real estate deal. What's going on? Because our financial advisor. He's not only skilled and wise and knowledgeable in social security and retirement. He's also a realty expert. Now he has been watching what's been going on with this housing market. And he sees how things are going and he sees the debt and everything. And he's waiting. He's, he's buying his time. He's waiting because lots of foreclosures. People aren't paying their bills, so these houses are going to go up. And all these big corporations that bought up houses, and again, they, nobody's renting them because they, they're too expensive. So they're going to be unloading them. And Timmy's just waiting because he got this RV. It's not forever. It's just because he, he, wants, he wants a home, a forever home where he can die in. To where I can get a place I can die at. That's just a, a saying that I have because I'm not looking to flip houses, I'm not looking to invest, but I want something that's gonna be a low cost every month, cheap. Because you're a cheap bastard, right, Timbo? Because I'm cheap. That's right, cheap because you're cheap. Well, all I gotta say, Timmy, is uh, you better get a move on because you only got a few short years left, right, Tim? 73 is just right around the corner there. Ain't it, Baker? I'm Blind Views, and that's the way I see it. I'm Blind Views, that's the way I see it. What we do here is go back, 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 back.